Hey guys, what do you get when you cross a bunch of falling blocks with a heap of multicolored jelly creatures? A wobbly nightmare? A rainbow headache? Wrong and wronger, you get P.O. P.O. Tetris. Puyo Puyo Tetris combines two very similar vertical puzzlers. Tetris, the Russian tile matching classic developed all the way back in 1984, and the Japanese jelly stacking madness of Puyo Puyo, which first appeared in 1991. Both games require you to clear a range of falling objects to score points, all the while avoiding cluttering up the board completely. And while they are both very similar, you'll need to master totally different strategies to succeed at both. In Tetris, you need to arrange blocks to create horizontal lines across the board, causing them to disappear. However, Puyo Puyo requires you to match four or more of the same coloured Puyo in a chain. And this can be done vertically or horizontally. That was perfect. Both games are fun on their own, but by combining the two, it creates a ton of interesting new modes, most of which focus on battles. Affirmative. Competition is the name of the game here, as almost every mode pits at least two players against each other, regardless of which game they've selected. As you score points by clearing your screen, you'll fill your opponent's board with rubbish, making it tricky for them to play. Ah, this game's... Devious. Yeah, it can get seriously intense. If you want, you can play each game in their original one-player format from the main menu, but in my opinion, you'll want to dive in and check out some of the more creative and interesting modes. I started out picking the adventure mode, curious to see how they might fit a story into these puzzle games. It's such a peaceful day. This is Captain T of the SS Tetra. Looks like we got warped to another dimension. We didn't agree to that. <laughs> so peaceful. Oh, my! Uh, yes, I think the less said about this, the better. Yeah, they're weird, loud and, let's be honest, annoying. But I guess it's nice to have something to string the stages together, right? I don't know, Goose, are you forgetting about the floating sidekick characters? Goo goo! Beep beep! Oh, yeah, good point. Luckily, all these cutscenes can be skipped, which is good because they go on way too long. Essentially, they're just to break up a mixed bag of game modes, which can all be selected from the solo and multiplayer arcade menus anyway. Affirmative. There are six game modes in total. Versus, Fusion, Swap, Party, Challenge and Big Bang. And each has an interesting spin on the rules of the game. What's really interesting is how many of these modes allow you to pick between playing with either Tetrominoes or Puyo Jellies. Now guys, I'll admit I was born and raised playing Tetris, so I found it hard to force myself to switch modes, but I did actually really like the chance to play something different. It's great, isn't it? Just as I was getting bored battling endless waves of AI in Tetris, I would switch over to Big Bang with Puyo's or Fusion Mode, which drops both types on the one born. Utter madness! Just the right kind, Darren. And I love this because having so many different ways to play stops the game from becoming too samey. I got a real kick out of the Endurance Mode, which pits you up against endless opponents. <laughs> And that AI puts up a serious fight, too. But of course, nothing beats battling a human opponent. Oh, no offence, Darren. No, I'm used to it now. It's just because you're so good, Darren. You always win. <laughs> you can head online and compete in the Puzzle League, which mixes up modes with players around the world. But in my opinion, this game is primed for multiplayer couch shenanigans. Hi, baby. Yeah, it's a serious party game, especially as it's easy to fit four players onto one screen. Final thoughts, Barjo? Well, it's hard to fault a timeless classic like Tetris, and everything else was just a bonus for me. Plus, the multiplayer is a blast. So I'm giving this four out of five rubber chickens. Yeah, I found this really hard to put down. I'm not sure the adventure mode was totally necessary, and I will always pick Tetris over Puyo Puyo, but by combining them, they kept it feeling fresh and fun. So I'm giving it four and a half out of five rubber chickens. Plus, guys, Tetris music. Oh, it's the best. Uh, 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 u